All right, so I'm back in the camper here again. Uh, I'm shooting another video today. Um, and you've noticed that I've started a, a new YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, this is my, uh, this is it, Unlimited uh, channel. And really why I started this channel is uh, many people, uh, they, they, they sell themselves short uh, about what they can accomplish or what they can do. But really, uh, with a little knowledge and forethought, uh, what you can do is quite literally unlimited. So. Uh, that's why I'm starting this channel. And today, uh, what we're going to be discussing is, again, my Lance 650 camper. It's a 2021 uh, version of this camper. And uh, what generator uh, will run this camper and what uh, will it run? So stay tuned and uh, we'll get right to that. And we'll be doing some uh, uh, fail tests to see what will run uh, in the camp. So this is my Predator generator from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's a 2000 watt inverter generator. Inverter generators are really nice when you're powering very sensitive electronics, which uh, are in our Lance 650 campers, uh, many different things uh, that, that need an inverter generator. So uh, this is the generator that I used. When I bought this, uh, I was very concerned whether it would run the air conditioning. Uh, so uh, it actually got up on top. If you if you're up on top of the camper, and I don't know if I can film this very well, eh, I'm probably not going to be able to film it. But uh, the Lance uh, 650 campers is what I what I have there. Uh, the Lance 650 has a um, a Dometic uh, air conditioner on the top of it, and uh, I actually crawled up there to see. Uh, sometimes you can put uh, in your campers a, a start capacitor that'll give it an extra bump. And when you go to run off of a generator, it won't kick the uh, the overload on, on the generator and, and throw it uh, into a, a power cycle so that it doesn't work. So uh, when I crawled up there, I actually pulled the cover off. It's a uh, it's already got a start capacitor on there, so uh, you don't need one uh, if you're running this on your Lance 650. Uh, just uh, we'll see here. Uh, I figured out a few things with this. Uh, what this uh, what my camper will run. Uh, with uh, with the generator here, so we're gonna fire it up. All right, so we got the generator running. I started it up. I got it plugged in uh, here. Uh, seems to be running okay. Let's let's go see what we can run here inside the camper. Uh, I did throw uh, the breaker in here uh, to turn off the microwave. Uh, I turn off the microwave to power the AC. You're gonna hear it pull a load uh, once it starts up. And then uh, it should keep that generator going uh, here. So uh, this is what I did. Just turned off the third one in the uh, in the camper there uh, on the panel box here. You can see the third one's your microwave uh, from the 30 amp breaker. Uh, so we'll just uh, we'll give it a whirl here and uh, see uh, if we can power this up. So let's give it a whirl. Let's turn on our air. You hear it pull a load on that generator outside. Okay. And let's wait for the compressor to kick on here. Let's see if we can hear it. And there it kicked in. You heard it kind of really give a, a lag there. But let's go out and see what's going on on our generator. It's running harder, but it's running. So you can see, still got the output on there. It didn't overload. It pulled pretty hard, but it's still running, and it's running my air. Let's go check and see if it's still on here. Yes, it is, and it's blowing cold, so that's good. Okay, but you notice, again, my microwave's off. Uh, if you if you need the microwave, I guess you're out of luck. But if you're out boondocking, it's uh, it's a pretty nice option to have your air if it gets pretty hot. So that's how I use it. Uh, let's try it just for, uh, and I already tried this. Let's just try to turn off the air and see if the microwave will run. So we're gonna turn off our air conditioning. Let's turn it off. I heard the compressor kick off. Give it a minute till it shuts down here. All right, and let's just turn our microwave back on here, see what happens. So you heard it click on there. 
Uh, I know what's going to happen here, <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyhow. Uh, so let's just turn this on for 30 seconds and see what happens. Holy cow. So, <laughs> all right. Well, just a heads up. I did this last year and this didn't work. Uh, it flipped the, it kicked the generator into overload, but it looks like it's going here. I can't believe it's holding it. So it looks like it's, it's running the, uh, looks like it's running a microwave. And then you heard the generator die there again. I can't believe it. It ran. It didn't do that and it's warm inside. So <laughs> I'm pretty, uh, that's interesting. Cause it did not do that last year. Um, maybe it's cold out. I'm not sure. I don't know if I had the ESC switch flipped on the generator because I know it conserves a little bit. Maybe that's it and why it wouldn't run it. Uh, I'm curious now. So let's check, let's flip our microwave switch here. Uh, let's actually leave the breaker, uh, I'm sorry. Let's leave the breaker uh, in the on position and try my, uh, try my air again and see what happens. Uh, let's see if it throws it because it didn't work last year. Uh, I'm pretty curious to see as to what's going to happen. Let's throw her back on here. Generator's still running. Okay, there goes the air. Let's wait till the, the compressor's the thing that pulls the most load. So let's see what happens. And you can see the microwave's on. All right, I can hear it out there. The compressor kicked on. And it's still going. Uh, wow. Okay. I don't know if that has anything to do with the lithium battery being in here. I don't. I wouldn't think so because it's running off the AC on the on the generator. Yeah. Still running. Look at the output. All right. So it will run on the. 2000 watt Predator inverter generator. Nice and cool in here. Blowing cold. Microwave's on. Now, I'm not gonna do this because I know that it's gonna, if I turn on the microwave, this whole thing's gonna shut down and I really don't wanna mess up uh, anything in here on purpose. So I guess if you need uh, one or the other, it's gonna work. And again, I have all the breakers in my panel turned on and the air is running so uh, I'm not sure if I could turn anything else on in here if I turn on some lights so I got all the lights on I'm not gonna turn the fan off you're running the air you're not gonna run the fan oh, I unplugged that from the thing uh, let's try the fridge. All right, fridge is on. Microwaves on, air conditioning running. <laughs> so this is pretty heavy load test here. I think that as far as like electronics is gonna go, I guess the only thing I could really turn on that's gonna pull much more of a load maybe is the stereo in the, uh, I don't know, let's try it. Sorry about the mess in the camper. Oh, the antenna's not on, so it was gonna it was gonna tune into a station. But my, uh, yeah, let's throw that on too. Might as well. We're turning everything on. Let's turn it all on. <laughs> 
All right, power antennas on. Ah, westerns, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's go check the generator. Lights on, lights on, stereos on, microwaves on. I don't know why you would ever want to listen to the music with the TV. Maybe you like to party. Okay, let's turn this all off. This is getting crazy. All right. So what's going to run in here? Well, uh, I don't know if it was the heat last summer when I tried that. I know I had to turn the microwave off, uh, at least the in the in the panel box to get everything to run. It didn't it didn't run it, and I don't know if that had to do with the the draw on the uh, on the system with the voltage, or if I had something on the generator. But as you saw from the test, uh, I ran everything in here uh, that drew a heavy load. I ran the refrigerator. I kept the microwave on, although I didn't turn the microwave on uh, with the same time at the same time as the air conditioner. Uh, that's going to kill it for sure. It's going to it's going to be pulling more. Uh, it's going to be pulling more of a load uh, on the uh, on the camper than what uh, the generator is going to be able to handle. But uh, it looks like you can run the microwave as long as you're not running your air, and you can do vice versa. Uh, so. Uh, you don't really need a heavy watt generator. I know there was a channel on here that he said he runs a 3,500 watt generator. Uh, maybe he runs everything at the same time, uh, uh, and that's why he needs it. Uh, but uh, I'm, I, I just ran it. You saw the test uh, that we did, uh, so it runs. Uh, uh, I love the other channel, though. By the way, I, ca I caught all the some of the content from there. Enjoyed it very much. Uh, so I'm pretty impressed uh, with what will run on a 2,000 watt Predator generator from harbor freight and i saved myself some money on the honda so uh pretty happy overall hope you enjoyed the video here hope you continue to watch uh, some of my videos uh, as i continue to release content on this lance 650 again if there's anything you'd like to see please let me know down in the description uh, if you like it please leave a like i'd like to continue to make these videos for the camper uh, and uh, hopefully uh, those of you that do own this camper can benefit from some of the videos uh, and enjoy uh, as I go through uh, through them. Uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, love uh, hate videos on this camper and I'll be do doing those. Those will be released here pretty shortly. So thank you again for, for watching and uh, hope you hope this uh, helps all of you out there.